Friday said today. Fortunately, it doesn't look like it's happening anyways. And what's going on today? I guess this was kind of expected. The DJI Air 3S was officially announced in terms of a launch. Did we learn anything new? Pretty much everything that was leaked was leaked. And the only thing to confirm for the most part was things like the price. But in general, what's the big deal in terms of, I guess, spec reviews? The specs were as expected. For example, it has a one inch CMOS primary camera, a dual camera system. And they advertise, for example, it's a 45 minute flight time. And at the same time, in terms of things like obstacle sensing, it says it's nightscape omnidirectional. So I guess it's useful for people who are more inclined to fly around things, for example, such as a lot of trees and buildings, although at the same time, I don't think this thing is going to necessarily help if it's really small branches, for example. The dual camera system is something people have seen, for example, in the lineup such as the Mavic 3. So the selling point for this should be you can now get a lot of the same tech and quality in a smaller package. That would be a big advantage for people who want to carry less and at the same time just keep a lower profile in terms of flying the drone and stuff like that. But other than that, the important thing is the price. According to this, it says the DJI Air 3S is $1,029 US. That basically comes with the drone and the regular controller. You can get the Fly More combo for $1,315 US. And then the combo with the actual controller that has a built-in screen, that one's $1,475 US. So it seems about expected in terms of the price range for these drones nowadays anyways. I guess the next up is the Mavic 4 because as you guys know in a lot of places like the US and so forth they may potentially ban things like a DJI drone so I'm not surprised that a lot of the products are going to be pushed out probably. Of course it's different for the rest of the world that doesn't have the same situation. I know for here anyways I've actually never purchased the Air series. I just find for example just with the regulations and stuff here it's either you stay under with the micro drones, for example, and you're going to go over, you might as well get something that's the better quality, assuming it fits your budget. So in this case, I personally would more likely buy the bigger one if I actually needed the quality. Like, for example, let's just say the Mavic 4 came out. Unless there's a specific budget issue, for example, because this is actually okay, I think, anyways, in terms of the price point. Are you in the market for this? Are you still going to hold out, for example, because as mentioned, Mavic 4 is expected to be announced soon too. Although for smaller drones, how about a humongous one? Apparently this was going around a lot recently where there was this tilt rotor drone that was unveiled in China. Apparently it's called the UR6000. So what is this exactly? Well, I was trying to look it up in terms of some specs like this one here. It says Singapore Air Show 2024, United Aircraft reveals UR6000 AAV concept. So at the time it was a quote concept, I guess, whereas now they're actually going forward with it. This one says United Aircraft, a China-based manufacturer of logistics and surveillance, rotary wing unmanned aerial vehicles, revealed a concept of its UR6000 tilt rotor autonomous aerial vehicle during the Singapore Air Show 2024 held from 20 to 25 of February. Speaking to Jane's, an official from the United Aircraft said the UR6000 AAV is a fully autonomous platform being designed for cargo and passenger transport applications. The AAV is being developed independently and has progressed from its detailed design to early prototyping phase, the official added. According to the company, the UR6000 has a maximum takeoff weight of 6,100 kilograms, a commercial payload carrying capability of 2,000 kilograms, a cruise speed of 550 kilometers an hour, a service ceiling of 7,620 meters, and can cover a maximum flight distance of 1,500 kilometers. Yeah, this is definitely not the smaller drone. I don't know how fast you're going to start seeing stuff like this in the actual airspace in various countries although a common theme here is China is dominating this market space for the most part anyways are people going to be able to catch up and again with all that geopolitical tension will you actually see this stuff outside of China and then I saw this today where it was going around everywhere it was kind of crazy you know when it comes to police stories and handling let's just say a suspect there's often criticism where there's too much excessive force they could have done something else aside from let's just say unfortunately shooting the person in some cases which is what happened here and initially it seemed like people were criticizing the police officers for using excessive force but they just released for example body camera and you can see what happened was he went for a wellness check by the looks of it 
The person at first refused to open the door, and when the person did open the door, they came out swinging with a knife and all that. And still, it seemed like the police officer kept his composure trying to tell the person, for example, to stop and all that. But the person, by the looks of it, actually made contact and you can see the cop was bleeding and all that. Now, eventually, the police officer did shoot the individual by the looks of it, called in to report the issue and you can clearly see it was cut in multiple places. If anything, in this particular situation, it's the complete opposite. is not, quote, excessive use of force and all that, doing it too fast. I think the person should have done it sooner, unfortunately. And it makes you think in this case because it gives you the other end of the perspective where there are times where you have to make a quick decision, I guess. Okay, do you take this person out or not? Because if you don't and they get a chance to harm someone else, this is exactly what would happen, correct? So I just thought it was interesting for all the people that were jumping the gun in this one, saying immediately, oh, the cop was in the wrong in this case, but there's just so many factors, especially if you're someone who actually has to do the job, huh? It's almost like watching, for example, a viral video of someone getting assaulted or something like that and people are always like hey how come no one stood up for them or anything like that i would do something like yeah right you <laughs> know for a lot of people if it happens right in front of their face they often do nothing just because you have to make a quick decision for example on what to do and most people they just don't want to get hurt or are afraid of making the wrong decision right but yeah what a crazy scenario See you guys later.